I am looking at the PC system requirements to play the upcoming EA game called Immortals of Avion and I am wondering how is this game going to look and run on the consoles? If on the PC you need a 3080 Ti to get 1440p DLSS quality with medium settings, okay, so we're talking about 960p okay this is a picture of god of war graphic setting screen you see here dlss quality 1440p that means 17.8 by 960. this is atrocious <laughs> it's just unacceptable this game is dead on arrival i am not even gonna bother installing this game if i ins if i make another video of this game it's just to do a rant because this is unacceptable and you might think no oh, man you're wrong this game is gonna be look it's gonna look fantastic because it's gonna be using the lumen and nanite and all of that okay well, let's, let's take a look at the trailer and see how is the game going to look what do you see here okay I'm, I'm looking at a picture right now this is 4k 60 fps video from the original website okay this is from the ea website do you see anything special right now on the screen? Is this looking different from other games that you play right now that actually run and look very good? This looks like garbage. I'm sorry. This is like a very low resolution texture. This looks horrendous. I don't see anything special on the screen right now. Let's, let's keep going. Let's, let's play the, the, the trailer. See what we, what we can see here. This is like, this is not like a real thing. You will see once we have gameplay. Look, chromatic aberration is all over the place, so ugly. And I didn't see the option to turn it off in the game graphics and the graphics settings menu. I'm gonna show you that because they, they, they have a video with the graphic settings. Look, we have chromatic aberration here. Take a look at this. And, I'm, and I guess you cannot turn it off. We have chromatic aberration here. You see the red? on the right side and the blue on the left side maybe that that's difficult to see on camera but i can clearly see here chromatic aberration which is so ugly i don't understand why these developers insist in adding all this post-processing garbage that is coming from the movie industry it's just making the games look objectively worse <laughs> why would you want to add noise to the picture <laughs> it's just insane and not and not giving you the option to turn it off and then you have to go online and you have to you know download a mod and why why look chromatic aberration this just looks so ugly it's all over the place all over the place let's take a look at the gameplay once they show look look this is the gameplay right now <laughs> this is how the game gonna look look at the textures here this looks like garbage. I'm sorry. And this is supposed to be max settings in the highest fidelity they can show you. This is a trailer. They're trying to advertise to you how good the game looks on SDR, by the way. This is an SDR trailer. So they, they don't think that the best way to advertise how good a game looks is by showing you an HDR video. So they are... They don't know what's going on. They don't know what time it is. It, it, it's just it's stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Most people watch these trailers in HDR-capable screens. It can be their phones. It can be their monitors. HDR is the best way to show how good a game looks. Or well, maybe they didn't implement HDR or the HDR they implement, it looks terrible. <laughs> maybe that's why. But... That's beside the point. The game looks like garbage. This, there's nothing special here right now on screen. This is nothing special. I don't see any detail, any quality on these textures. It just looks like a low resolution texture. Nothing special right now on screen. This just looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm going to tell you what I see, okay? Look, 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 look at this. Where are the shadows on the enemy? Where are the shadows? Let's take a look at this. 
Where are the shadows? All this graphical demanding, I don't see shadows on the enemy. You see, this is flat. There are no shadows. And there is a light source here. We are not on the complete darkness. There has to be a shadow here. There's no shadows. This looks flat. There's nothing going on on the screen. I can let, let's see if we if we see more enemies, more examples of that. You can barely see anything. Let's see if we see more examples of with more enemies. See if that was an outlier or if it's just like we don't have shadows on the game. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at this. No shadows. <laughs> it is official. There are no shadows on the enemies. Look, no shadows here, no shadows, no shadows. Look. So enemies do not cast shadows. Look at this. There are no shadows. We are not on the complete darkness, okay? There has to be a shadow. None. Okay, there's none. Okay? So that's, that's why I, I don't understand, man. I do not understand how they... They can justify a terrible, unacceptable performance with a game looking nothing special. Like, I don't see anything special. If I open this trailer, and I'm like, wow, man, this just looks absolutely incredible. I am still against it. I'm going to tell you, no, wrong. Just you know, lower the graphical fidelity. Performance is more important to actually enjoy the game. But... I'm gonna tell you, man, just, you know, if you want to enjoy that fidelity, get a 4090. That's it. You have to spend you know, $6,000 to play a game if you want to make it look good. But this is not acceptable. It doesn't look good. And a 4090 is not gonna make me happy either. 4K DLSS quality, okay? That's not 4K. That is not 4K. That's 1440p. On a 4090, you shouldn't be expecting to play at 1440p. That's the most powerful GPU on the market. And 120 FPS is not enough to get the absolute best experience. You should expect 240 frames per second. Okay? This is just terrible. This is not acceptable. Not acceptable. So... Yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, man. I, 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 do not I do not like to do rants, man, but I feel very strong about it because I don't care about playing this game. Okay, This game's just garbage. I don't care about it. But I do care about other Unreal Engine 5 games that are coming. And I see the, the good things about Unreal Engine. Let's take a look at the, at the graphics settings menu. I see the good things about Unreal Engine. You know, thanks to Unreal Engine, we have more games, probably. It makes it easier for developers and all of that. But the thing is, it's the choices. It's the developer's choice. What they are deciding to do with this tool is wrong. It's big time wrong. I'm sure you can definitely make a game look amazing on Unreal Engine 5 and perform well. If you make, if you take other you know decisions but they are they are just wrong they are using it wrong i've seen videos of people who know about unreal engine saying that nanite for example can give you better performance than traditional rendering techniques but what they do instead of trying to uh, to give you a better performance with the same visual quality or even a little bit better what they do is utilize that to then push the graphics more and drop the performance even more. It's ridiculous. It's just not acceptable. If the, if the game cannot perform well, it is like cheating. Like it, Imagine a game that only runs on a 4090 and you can only get 30 frames per second at 4K with max settings. And it looks fantastic. Okay, it looks fantastic, but I cannot get a playable performance. Okay? And I need a 4090 to even make it look like that. It's just not ready. It's not ready. These things are not ready. It's just, it, and it doesn't look great. That's the thing. You look at the game, it doesn't look great. So look at this, set, at this menu. This is a graphic settings menu. 
I do not see the option to turn off chromatic aberration. And it was on for sure. And I am not sure you can turn off motion blur either because they are showing here motion blur, high, low. See? I don't see another option. So that there might, maybe there's not an option to turn it off, which is like unacceptable. <laughs> Just so completely unacceptable. This is so bad, man. So bad. So yeah, I want to, I don't want to play this game, it's just garbage, but I want to play other games that have Unreal Engine 5 and I'm concerned that they are going to be like this, uh, you know, Lords of the Fallen, I want to play that game and it might run like garbage, man, I'm, that's, that's what upsets me about this thing. Yeah, they're trying to explain you all these things. Yeah, the technology might be great, but you are not. No, you're not using it right. Or if if the performance is not good enough, you have to have the option to turn those features off. Have the option to turn Nanite and Lumen off, like Fortnite. On Fortnite, you can turn it off. The thing is that it takes more work. It is more work for the developers to have that option to turn off because these things make it easier. So imagine that you have this Lumen option. You don't, you don't need to do any anything manual. You just turn that thing on, boom, the lighting is done for you. It's easier for them, but the performance is not good enough. You need to have an option on the game to turn that off so, you, so people can get playable performance. This is not acceptable. This is very, very, very bad. Very, 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 very bad for gamers. So yeah, I hope this doesn't become the norm. And every single new Unreal Engine 5 games coming out is the same garbage. I hope that doesn't happen. Otherwise, we're screwed. And we can say that Unreal Engine 5 is going to ruin gaming. Okay? And it is kind of stupid to say that. Because... It is the developers. Unreal Engine 5 is just a tool. If they use that tool very well, they use it to actually get a great performance. So you see, performance is a must, okay? So the target, the performance is a, is like you need you have to have the performance then with your talent, with the best of your abilities make the game look as good as possible but the performance needs to be guaranteed okay on a 3080 ti you shouldn't be playing below 1080p with medium settings that just doesn't make any sense because a 3080 ti is much powerful than the consoles that most people are using to play this game so most people are gonna play this game with a very 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 low picture quality, very low frame rate, very poor picture quality. That is not better. I don't care about the features that the game have if it looks terrible. That's the point. So you, you have to guarantee, I mean, 2080 super. This is 1080p low with DLSS quality. That's just a blurry mess, okay? A blurry mess with low settings on a 2080 super. That doesn't make any sense. The 2080 Super is more powerful than the consoles too. It's, up, it's very close in performance. So as the consoles right there, 1080p with DLSS quality, and the consoles don't have DLSS, so the upscaling on the console is even worse than on the PC. So is that the, is that the experience that you want for most gamers that want to buy your game? <laughs> it's just nonsense. Uh, nonsense. Low settings with a very blurry picture. It's just terrible. So yeah, man. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I think we need to say no to this crap. I'm not buying this game. We need to say no. I'm not buying this crap. And tell EA, no, this is not good enough. I'm sorry. This looks like garbage. We have to criticize. We have to pick apart this trailer and say no this is not good enough it doesn't look good enough the performance is not good enough i'm not buying this crap
Yeah. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.